hey guys so it's been like a really long time since the last video which was around six stocks that i was recommending and i think we've seen further corrections in the market as an outcome of uh the russia ukraine crisis right but of late it looks like there's been a bit of a return of positive sentiment and uh, especially in india with the nifty sort of retouching uh, levels close to 17500 it looks like a bit of positive sentiment is returning in the market so uh, and you know it, it's giving us a bit of buying opportunities in stocks and the one that i'm discussing right now is in specific to india but it's a stock that's been in the news uh, for both right and wrong reasons in the past trade right? and the reason i'm covering this stock for today is because i think there is a buying opportunity in the stock especially with as investors like monish pabra suggesting that you know meta could be a stock that could potentially double within the next 2 to 3 years and that represents like a cagr of close to 30% a year assuming it it you know meta goes to double in 3 years which is still you know pretty respectable returns right and uh, so monish pabra suggestion again was that you don't have to understand the concept of meta platforms or the metaverse that you know facebook is trying to build their core business of ads itself is profitable enough to you know warrant looking at it as a serious investment and Mr. Pabra in general isn't a very, you know, he isn't a shiller of bad businesses, right? So, which is why when even reputed voices like him are so bullish on the stock, I think it warrants a bit of a closer look. And looking at the technicals, I think at least basis uh, the noise around the stock and the valuations it's, it's currently at, it's, it's definitely something that I'd consider adding to my portfolio. Uh, so, yeah, just jumping into the charts right here. uh so right right here you can see there was this long term trend line which is still tested once twice thrice multiple times it held as support which was finally broken in uh so right about here right so we broke support in feb which is when i think there were rumblings of the ukraine crisis happening first and also uh i think facebook declared results where there was like a noticeable drop in daily active users right of just the facebook platform and you know how the market is very news driven and sentiment driven and even though facebook has multiple businesses like whatsapp and instagram which are extremely profitable people went ahead and booked profit on the stock and it corrected all the way from an all time high of close to 400 dollars all the way down to 185 right and let me just measure from an all time high how much of a drop that is and okay what's wrong with this let's drop the measure tool here yep 51% correction in a stock with strong fundamentals so just basis this it 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 looks like it's pretty undervalued to me and coupled with what the technical still is right so let me it corrected all the way down to 186 dollars and where did we take support on this trend line this long term trend line which has been active since december of 18 so we came here close below it in the covid crash but then bounced up above it And then here we tested it again and there was a confluence of this price level of 180 which was resistance here support here so again at an area of value right and we took support we bounced back uh and we are currently testing the ems on the weekly again so the first sign of bullishness would definitely be if price closes above the ems at which point i would consider buying in if if you're looking at it from a long term investment perspective right but uh let's sort of drop down to uh the daily to see if it gives us any additional perspective so i'm just shifting time frames to the daily and as you can see yep so price has now broken above the ems so it's still below the 55 daily which is maybe a cause of concern but at least uh, you know in terms of the 8 13 and 21 ems price is now above it and let's assume we come back and test it at some point would be a great buying opportunity so the price level that i'm monitoring right now is maybe close to 
205 and if price tests this you know this range and we see some sign of buying pressure definitely a good area to be entering the stock I'm just shifting back to the weekly uh, seeing if it gives us any other levels which we should be monitoring so you can see this trend line was resistance for a while it was tested once twice thrice four four times and i've just sort of extended it so i'm expecting price to sort of test this and then sort of get rejected at the first touch could be a good shorting opportunity if you're into it but it could come back and either take support at the emas or at any area of value so this level of let me just drop this on the chart here this level of about 240 let's say could be an area of value to be monitoring because price has interacted with it in the past right so maybe there's this confluence of resistance and this trend line resistance we get a rejection we come back we test the emas and then we you know continue on our journey up above or you can just sort of monitor these levels on the daily so if price comes back test the EMAs or this horizontal level of about 205 and if you see signs of buying pressure could be a good area to be buying into the stock again not buying advice just I'm just saying what the charts tell me right and you know hopefully uh, all of you find a good entry into Facebook and you're able to make good profit on it so uh, happy trading